Oh yeah, oh, yeah. pushing the flap down. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. This is a pump feeder. Here. On a normal speed machine, this is controlled by timing belt. Okay. On the Prisma, this is controlled by servo. So we have to set the position of this in the right position. So when we lower the frame down, this bulge here and here should be in a certain position. And then, square. Yeah. And then we do reference. Okay. So this is the top squeezer. Top I'm squeezer. not going to I'm not going to go through taking this off and checking gaps because to, to take this off and check gaps takes more than two hours. Yeah. So we're not removing this. But there is gaps here you need to set. And under here we have shim to set the height of the squeezer. Yeah. But this is one of these things once it's set, you'll forget. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. You if we have a bad worn belt, you don't shim a bad belt. You replace the belt with a new belt, and then you do not have to shim. Because some people don't want to spend money on a new belt, they re-shim. What the fuck? Cut. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Replace the old belt. Yeah. Don't re-shim. Yep. Okay? Number one. Open the swing frame. Victoria. What's the carrier look like now? Now it's wrong. Uh -huh. Remember, this is zero. Don't touch this. Yeah. Now you need to set this to this. Because I have just moved it now. You need to set it in the right spot. It's in the center of here. Exactly between the carriers. So if you get someone here, so be mm. careful. Down. 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 Fingers. Down. Down. Fingers, what inside? Down me. Yeah. Down. Yeah. Down, 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 yeah, I'm happy. Oh yeah? Bring it up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that screen. Oh, fold it. The squeezer. Which one's the squeezer? Bottom one? Bottom one. Yeah. You can see. Reference top squeezer. Top squeezer. Yes, so it's already in preparation. 
Yep. Very good. Touch. Touch. Yep. Check. Yep. Check. yep. Beautiful. Done. Done. Face to face. Whew. All right. Moving. Did you see it move? No, it's doing nothing. Oh, okay. What happens if we do this now? Touch one to select function in active and move to squeeze a minute in it. squeezer manually. So now we can move it manually. We could do before anyway. Yeah. Switch. But now you have to get rid of never leaves green dots on the screen. Okay. It's gone. Okay. Okay. Next. Next setting. So <laughs> you've done this. So then Swing frame, set stop position, 6.2.2-6. Close the chain frame, crank the chain by handle until the carrier 3 is under the under the wheel 4. Okay? Check the distance A when the stop plate 5 mates with the catch catch's support. moment it looks like there's no shim. No. no. Okay. It can be point two. It doesn't have to be point five. It can be point two. Yeah, or it's it can good. be point eight. It's very good. We have clearance. Okay? Happy? Yep. Okay, okay. Now open the frame. I want to show you something. You see the top of the carrier here? It's all gouged. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's because of this plate here was set wrong. Have a look at this plate here underneath. Gee. Ooh. You see it? Ah, deep, 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 deep. This plate was, at some stage, was set wrong, and it was touching the top of this. Oh, so we've got a second hand machine already. And you feel here. Yeah, you can you feel, feel it. Feel here. Yeah. Scratch it. Feel, it's like a fucking razor blade. <laughs> so now we're here. Swing frame set guide alignment. Where, where we go? Six, seven. Swing frame set guides alignment. 6.2.2 dash 2. 6.2.2 dash 2, page 52. From here, from 
this edge to here. This edge to yeah. here. Part. Do you want to put it? Yeah, okay. Plus or minus. Uh, this is important. So this, these guides here are important because these have to guide the pack. Yeah. Okay. Six point two point four. Six point two point four. Page seventy one. Which is this gap here? Oh yeah. Yep. Mm. Okay. So RTFM. Then we have to remove. Remove and we have to shim. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Swing frame <laughs> set break 6.2.2 1. 6.2.2 1. 6.51. come from the door system into the, the carrier then when we get to here this brake stabilizes the package prior to entering the station chain. The reason we do that is we want the package to go in and stop. We don't want the package to go in to form and bounce. So we can go in to form and bounce then when we index again also for turning the pin in the right position. Okay. So we need to set this brake here. Since the packet is very high, we do this. We have a temper. So it's easy to make. Okay? Please. Yeah. So you can move the belt by hand to these pins off my hand and it's Yeah. Okay. So you need to pull this down now. But as I said, move this forward a bit. Like this. Now you can move oh, okay. this There it is. Yeah. Right there. Slightly touch. Got a little bit of movement. You check that out. I would do is look at the angle on this one and look at the angle on this one and make sure that they're the same or you can measure. This one you can check. Yeah. This one here you can't. Okay, and he wants to be the same. Because they want to be the same. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Alright. Easy enough. <coughs> if it's wrong, do not bend it. Do not bend it. No bending up. <laughs> Shim it. But if you bend it, you pack it. Shim. Then you need to shim oh, okay. to no. give more pressure. Uh, okay. This is new to me. It's what it is to you. Uh, must have a certain gap. 
strip under the chain. Checked at the chain one. It's in the middle of the space between the two side plates two when the package is released by the chain one. If necessary, loosen three and four. Okay. And then moves back again to the other end. Yeah. And then the chain, then the chain gets to here, then it moves across. Okay, <laughs> so you have to line up, you have to line up this part of the chain here. Yeah, yeah as the center it comes down. That one stays still. It's hard to see the top. Just come up a bit, stuff. Okay, come down. Okay. You can see the rails come inside. Yeah. And this one here is just is tough touching. But this is one of those things, unless you take it off and you never have to set it. 